Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn that how to best utilize one of the visual that is called Tree Map in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get start. Uh, I will use the data which is available at the Pakistan Stock Exchange website. Uh, the website is psx.com.pk and when you open this website, you will find a uh, all the information and relevant things about the Pakistan Stock Exchange and uh, if you are looking at this scroller which uh, shows you about the share price of each of the company either it's going upwards or downwards so this scroller video how to create the scroller in Microsoft Power BI is already available on my YouTube channel that is Excel Basement and uh, you can check out my Microsoft Power BI video list so you will find that scroller how to create that scroller in Microsoft Power BI whereas we will be talking about the tree map and we will get one of the segment from the market summary today and today is 29th October 2020 and the market is very negative here in Pakistan regarding the stock exchange so on this website you will find um, a market summary portion on the very left side and when you click on view all or you can just right right click on it and click on open link in new tab so you can see the market summary of the entire day activities uh, with respect to different sectors just like automobile parts and accessories banking sector bonds cement and in cement industry chemical industry commercial banks engineering fertilizers exchange traded funds so a lot more categories are here but as for the demonstration purpose I will uh, just show you that how to link this data this website URL to the Power BI and then creating a tree map so a lot of questions were received and query received during the last few days by some of my students and clients that in which kind of situation we can use the tree map would be better fit for the Power BI dashboard so in this video I will be covering that so now what I will do is I will just uh, copy the URL of this market summary and uh, I will open a new file of uh, Microsoft Power BI this is the latest version of uh, Power BI October 2020 so I will click on get data and here on, on this menu you will find an option that is called from web so I will click on web and uh, this will let me to put the, that URL so we have already copied I will just press the control V to paste that URL and I will press OK now so in next few seconds uh, the Power BI will connect this URL and uh, let us know that how many tables are present in that particular web page so that we can import that data and the best part would be that that will be live that will be connected so if you open this dashboard tomorrow your numbers get changed automatically because it's directly linked and and uh, through the URL and uh, tomorrow the, the visualization will be different okay all right so as we put the link and uh, now the navigator window will showing uh, showing us a different kind of a lot of tables are presented on that particular market summary on the Pakistan stock exchange website so there are almost 38 tables right so uh, I will give you one of the example and the best part is that when you click on any table so you can have a preview of that table either in a textual way or if you want to have a web view so you can uh, go through the live web view on, on this particular uh, navigator view so what we are required to do is let's say if we want to import just one table that is related to the automobile and there are a lot of companies so they have some uh, open prices high price low price for the today and and the percentage change in the, with respect to the volume so we will be importing this table 2 so I will just check mark on table 2 and I will click on load now remember that uh, you will not get the data as per your requirement because we need to transform this data into a good visual so you might be having some spending some time in the uh, power query editor as well so that the data should be in a correct way so you can draw a visual to it okay so it will take few more seconds to load the data and once the data is loaded you will see on the right side on the fields pane all the fields will be listed 
So let's see how the data is showing up in this particular window and if there is any correction required. So we will click on transform data in the home tab and we will go to the power query to transform. All right, so it's creating a connection in the model and uh, as you can see on the right side, the fields pane is now being activated and uh, in next few seconds, we will see a list of column names in the table name. So here you can see a table two name and uh, a column names are like column one, two, three, four, which, which is not giving a meaningful way. So this means that we need to do some transformation and for that we will go to the power query. So in the home tab, uh, we have this option available transform data. I will click on transform data. The power query editor window will open. And now here we do some transformation. So the first row is, is uh, says automobile assembler and in every of the column, this is the same spelling. We know that this data is particularly for the automobile uh, company. So we don't need this first row. We need to delete that. So every time we will be importing this data, that definitely the first row is not relevant for us. So to remove that on the home tab, you will find remove rows option. Click on that and uh, click on remove top rows. So it will say how many rows you want to remove from the top. So our, our basic requirement is to just remove first row. So we have put one here and that step has been recorded here. Now this first row is, is to be shown as, as a column headers. So this option is also available in Power Query. On the home tab, uh, click on use first row as headers so that the first row become the header for this data, right? Once we are done with the transformation of all the relevant uh, cleaning, then we are required to just exit this window and on the home tab, you will find on the left side, close and apply button. So click on close and apply. And now you will see a difference so now all the column names are coming properly and now we are getting ready to apply the visual and in this video we are more focusing on the tree map so in next few seconds this applying query changes will uh, done by the power bi and uh, we will be creating the visual All right, so now you can see that on the right side fields pane, uh, now the headers are coming properly. Uh, script, change, current, high, low, right? So script is basically the name of the companies. Uh, I will just drag and drop this specific field to the canvas and uh, then I will uh, drag and drop the change field. So now it's, it's in table form and we need to uh, create a visualization, good visualization and appropriate as well. So for this kind of data, uh, we will be applying tree map. So I will click on tree map and now you can see the tree map has appeared. So as today uh, specific to the 29th October 2020, the stock exchange, Pakistan stock exchange is, is very downside. Um, most of the companies has been uh, has, has a negative percentage. So. Uh, we are also required to correct the color formatting as well and we want that if if all the companies are showing negative performance for today that should be highlighted in red color so let's explore some of the formatting options for the tree map now uh, as soon as i click on this small icon format i will find a lot of things available here so i will just click on data colors and i will not manually change the color of every of the company which is listed here into red but I will go for the advanced controls and when I click on advanced controls a window will appear here so on the basis of field on the basis of change field I will select the change field uh, the summarization will be sum so the minimum number so I want a, a dark color for the minimum number because the numbers are negative for the today so it's a red color a dark red color and for the maximum numbers I would like to have that uh, light color of red. So this is a diverging uh, starting from dark red to the light red and I will press OK. So now as you can see that all those organizations who have performed very bad today are, are in the very dark red color and some of them are in the light red color. 
uh, we are also required to see the percentages or the change numbers as well so for that uh, here in the formatting area we have the data labels we we need to make turn on and also we can uh, let's say increase or decrease the decimal places and we can increase the text size as well right so we can see it properly further uh, we also need to make sure that the names are also visible correctly so i i will change the text size of that particular company names as well so let's say it should be 14 okay so now i can analyze that uh, which companies are today not performing good so Hinopark Mortal Limited minus 14.3, Hinopark Mortal Limited 16.6, Al Ghazi Tractors Limited minus 16.6, right? The most one is Gandhara Industries Limited minus 18.8, right? So this is how uh, the best visual is is to create a tree map for these kind of data. And when you drag and drop, expand or call, expand the visual. Uh, a bit larger or smaller it, it will adjust themselves easily uh, the volumes and the allocations right so i hope you like this uh, visualization technique and please do share thank you